Welcome back to Orca Boats. My name is Rod. This is going to be episode 22 of the PT11 build. So next up in this sequence of uh, fiberglassing and epoxy work today, I'm going to glass the transom. It's got a four ounce piece of glass which I'm just hanging on here with some push pins dragging down. I'll be able to just roll on that surface and roll it under, fold it under onto the hull. On the trim on the uh, stern portion we have a heavy piece of glass here nine ounce which is going to go on first and then a second layer of six ounce glass and because the bow section here is kind of reinforced somewhat by the four uh, deck it, the exterior of the out whales will have two layers of six ounce glass i'm going to roll everything onto here wet everything out and then start sticking some glass on okay so just mixed up some epoxy or do a paint tray. I've got a small section of roller here. Got some cardboard on the floor that is very likely to drip. So I'm going to just start gently in the middle here and roll directional away from the center so we don't move the glass too much. Or create manageable folds and puckers. So the first couple of rolls are really just to let's just get that glass stuck in place. I suppose I could stand this section on end and glass this but that would mean a whole other day just watching epoxy dry, so I'm trying to get multiple tasks done today. So this is a piece of four ounce glass, one piece covering the full transom with enough to fold a little bit onto the transom in whale and onto the hull. Okay, I think I've got enough epoxy on my roller and on the surface, so now it's just a matter of forcing it down and wetting it out. I also could have applied the epoxy with a brush. Not so sure that would have been any less messy. As we do have epoxy dripping on the cardboard. And with that pretty well stuck there, I think I can pull the pins. Just saturate this top edge here. Now I'm going to saturate every all the things that I saturated the other day with the two coats of epoxy. Now we're on to third and fourth coat. glass to fold over onto the hull. I'll do the flat sections first. I'll have to do a bit of trimming, I'm sure, on the upper edges here. But the edges have all been rounded, so we can the glass to fold. Okay. 
I'm just going to roll a little on the edge now. And then attempt to stick my unidirectional tape. So this is a bit of a pain because the long strands down one edge really just want to fall right out. So I'm going to use the factory edge on the bottom. And just get this to stick there. As you can see, the strands just under their own weight are just coming off. So we want to make sure we don't lose too many of them. Let's get this saturated a bit more. And being that it's 9 ounce cloth, it's not exactly going to clear right away. It's going to take a while for this to soak up epoxy and clear if it does at all. And then over top of that, I'll go the six ounce piece of glass, which we should be able to stick in the center here. In the kit for the PT-11, they provide you with one length of the heavier unidirectional 9 ounce fiberglass tape and ask you to cut it in half. However, I found this extremely frustrating in that the strands were just coming apart everywhere and falling on the floor and wouldn't lay down that easily. I might suggest that in the kit they just give you another 6 feet of it. I know it's going to be extra wide but it would be a lot easier to lay that down because it has the selved edge stitched together and the strands would not come apart. They could also provide you with uh, oh, X number of feet of 6 ounce 2 inch wide tape also with a selved edge so you don't have to cut your own tape and uh, because strands are just going everywhere and it's extremely frustrating to get the stern section of the PT-11 glassed on the out whales. And once I had the outer edges of the stern half done on the out whales, just moved on to the bow section, which just has two layers of six ounce fiberglass tape cut from the roll. And the same procedure was followed by just uh, applying some epoxy to the outer edge, sticking on the 6 ounce glass, saturating it, then sticking on the second layer and fully saturating that one. Alright, time to do the foils. 4 ounce glass. Just going to roll out some epoxy. Get this glass to lay down. So I've got the... Uh, 
center board up high on the table here and a block so I can get to the edges. Glass will wrap around the ends and uh, over the larger, wider edge that has not been reinforced with thickened epoxy. Okay, with that layer down, there's a bit of reinforcement in the top edge here. We'll do the same. It's going to go on and wrap down the sides. I could have fiberglassed these uh, parts a long time ago. However, I wanted to make sure that before I fiberglass especially the center board uh, that it actually fits into the center trunk box. There were some issues with the kits in the foils not fitting due to uh, plywood not being exactly to spec as assumed by the uh, designer and the kit supplier. So the box ended up being just a slightly undersized and the dagger boards weren't fitting through so there was a bit of an ad adaptation to make on that in just making sure that the trunk box was in fact wide enough to accommodate the foil. So we just roll down the square edges working towards the pucker area here, then these edges will fold down as well. Then the corner, once we roll down and fold down the side, the flat sides, work towards the corner hit the corner and it will flow down. Glass around compound curves are always difficult but they can be done as long as the epoxy is good and wet and the glass is good and wet. Sometimes if there's too much glass overhanging here it doesn't want to lay down so we'll just trim some off. And then we have less material that wants to pucker. And there you go. Okay, center board done. All down. Move on to the rudder. I'm not sure if the customer will want these parts painted, but I'm using 207 Slow Cure for a clear coat in case that's the objective at the end of the day, is to keep these in the clear coat. I mean, they look kind of cool the way they've been cut by the CNC out of the three quarter inch ply. So as I said, we've added the glass, we've got a second coat on, so the procedure will be is to come back tomorrow trim off all the overhang of the glass on the outside of the out whales, uh, feather down and sand down the glass that's overhanging on the transom, and uh, add two more coats of epoxy 
so that it's all nice and smooth and then it'll be ready for final sanding and varnish later. And again, thanks for watching and thank you to all my subscribers and you can become a subscriber too. Just hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified of future builds, just hit that little bell button and you'll be sent a notification that a new video has been uploaded from Orca Boats.